Hey, Creekside. Glad to have the opportunity to uh, be with you, uh, even though this is uh, a little unusual for us, uh, but grateful for the technology to do it. Let me start by saying uh, how much I appreciate all the work that's gone in to pull this off. Mike, thanks for all your work on this. And uh, Marie Banks, one of our deacons, uh, who is uh, recording this so that we can put this up on the web. Uh, I know this is unusual. This was a hard decision for us to make, to not meet together and worship. We really wanted to do it, uh, but as we just saw the events as they were unfolding, as we got information back from local folks, uh, officials, uh, and health officials, we really felt like the best thing to do was to go ahead and do church virtually. And so uh, another person I want to say thanks to is uh, Mike Lozardo. Uh, we're really fortunate here at Creekside to have one of our elders and longstanding members uh, be Mike, who's had uh, decades of public health experience. Mike is very busy, uh, but he's given us a lot of great advice. And so, Mike, thanks so much for all your time and effort on that. I think more than anything, Mike and I would, would want to say a few things. For me, first of all, it's just really important for us not to give in to a spirit of fear, which is very natural when we have something like this going on. As Christians, uh, we want to turn the channel and go from fear to how do we love our neighbors. And I'm, I just want to say the, the initial response from Creeksiders has been really, really encouraging in that. So Creeksiders, thank you for doing that. Uh, and we want to press into that in uh, the weeks to come. So there are several ways that we can love our neighbors. The most immediate and obvious of which is to listen to the good leadership and guidance of medical professionals who've been preparing for an event like this for, in some cases, well over a decade. So if you're encouraged to stay home, please stay home. If you're in a vulnerable population, if you're an older adult, if you're immunocompromised or have pre-existing conditions, um, please take extra care of yourself and be extra vigilant to, to not be in contact with folks who would be potential carriers. But then the other side of that coin is, uh, this is an opportunity for us not to be primarily concerned with our own selves and in my house and am I cared for and taken care of. This is an opportunity for us to, to reach out to our neighbors, to members of our OAG, members of our um, communities, members of our workforce or our classes at school who maybe would fit that more vulnerable category or who we know already to be exposed to this virus and to, to check in on them. What are things we can do to support them? Can you run errands? Can you go to the grocery store or pick up prescriptions or do things to help the more vulnerable among us from being exposed in the first place? This is a fantastic opportunity, Creekside, for us to show the love of Christ, the sacrificial, self-denying love of Christ to those in our community who are the most vulnerable. Uh, amen to everything he said. I would just say pray for us as leaders as we, that we've been make wise decisions in the days ahead. Pray for the folks in the city uh, and the state and national level who are making uh, critical decisions. Uh, pray for them. Um, and also, if you are a, a regular attender or a member of Creekside and you are in one of those categories, uh, we will be making lists to check in on you, but, but please feel free to reach out to us. Don't wait for us to contact you. Write us at either at Barbara at Creekside.com or Mike or I, our names at Creekside.com and say, hey, I fit one of these categories. Uh, I could sure use a little help during this time, and we want to make sure that uh, you are cared for well. So, Creekside, we appreciate you, and um, uh, please be joining us in prayer as we go through this time. I do think uh, when there are times of crisis, it's a real opportunity for the church to show the love of Christ in a really powerful way. And so, please, let's press into that. We don't know when we'll be able to be back together again on Sunday mornings. We'll get together just as soon as our local health department tells us it's a good idea. Until then, we're going to continue to pursue ways to use our website and social mm -hmm. media to uh, proclaim God's word and to give us opportunities to worship even within our own household. But until we meet again, we love you, we're praying for you, and together uh, we're going to remind ourselves that the Lord is in control and this will pass. Amen. Thanks.